Hey everyone, I am Kim Campbell and welcome to the Caribbean Vegan Foodie. Today we are going to make some sweet and sour cauliflower with veggie. But before we get into the video, please remember to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's go! Let's kick this off with the cauliflower batter. So I'm using an all-purpose gluten-free flour. You can use whatever flour you like. I'm celiac, so I'm using gluten-free flour. Then we're gonna add some salt to that. And I'm also using an all-purpose seasoning, the Irish brand that I got from the Caribbean store. It is gluten-free, MSG-free, and it's vegan. I love it for everything Caribbean. <laughs> And I'm also using almond milk. You can use whatever milk you like, whatever milk, coconut, oat milk, it's up to you. But I'm using almond milk for this recipe. You know what I'm going to say right now, right? Taste. Taste, taste, taste. Taste is an important aspect of cooking. You need to taste your food beforehand so that you can adjust the seasoning. You don't want to cook it and then afterward you realize, hey, this have no taste. So please taste your batter. It's okay to taste some raw flour now and again. You don't have to even swallow it. So please taste. So now we're dipping our cauliflower in the batter and then we're just put it, placing them on a lined baking sheet because we're going to bake this cauliflower in the oven. it's time to prepare the sauce a sweet and sour sauce so we need some ketchup some orange juice lemon juice sugar and some garlic you can also add some soy sauce personally i do not use soy products so there's no soy in this but you can add a little to give it a little cake and you can add a little black pepper too i also don't use black pepper you can use whatever pepper you like, cayenne pepper, you can add it to it. But I didn't add any pepper to this recipe because kids was going to eat it. So you want to get all those mixed up to prepare your sauce.
So there I go, tasting my sauce. If it's too sour, you can add more sweetener to it. If it's too um, sweet, you can add more lemon juice or pineapple juice or orange juice. So now for our veggies. So I have some water going, I'm gonna add my beans. I'm gonna boil them ahead of time before I add them to a sauce. And I like my veggie with a little crunch to it. So I'm gonna cook it not too long so that it retain that crunch. But you can cook it as long as you like, depending on how you like your veggies. Do you like soft beans or hard beans? I like hard beans. So here is a little Caribbean tip or cook like a Jamaican. How to cook like a Jamaican, we clean as we go. So the stove is kept clean, nothing is kept in the sink, everything is washed immediately so that not a spoon or a fork is in the sink. So we like our environment to be totally clean. Personally, I cannot eat from a person that while they're cooking, the kitchen was dirty, there was things, stuff on the sink, the counter, the stove was dirty. If something boiled over, just clean it, clean it up. So as you see now, I'm adding some salt to the water because I did forget to add salt to the water previously. <laughs> so I'm adding some salt because you don't want some flavorless fresh beans in your sauce. Adding the carrot halfway through my bean cooking time because I do not want my carrot to be that soft either. I like my carrot to be really hard. But again, this is up to you how soft you will like to cook these things. So after cooking your veggies to your desired doneness, you want to drain that off. Drain the water off and we're going to move on to get everything together. Yeah! So we're going to saute some onion um, in a little pot with a little oil. You can also go oil free and add, use water to saute the onion. After sauteing your onion for a couple minutes, you want to add your veggies that you have just boiled. So you're going to add those to the onion and get everything mixed up. And then we're going to add the sauce, the sweet and sour sauce to all this veggies. You want your sauce to simmer for a little bit, a couple minutes before adding your cauliflower. But remember, you don't want it to simmer too long because you don't want your vegetable to cook too soft. And I personally just not like soft veggies. So you want to get it simmering and then you're going to add your cauliflower and just get everything incorporated. So I totally forgot to show you what the cauliflower looked like right out the oven. So that's what it looked like. And we're just mixing it in with the sauce to get the sauce all over it. Mm. This smell good and it tastes good. And it even looked good. And even kids love it. Yes. I didn't add any pepper to this dish because kids was going to eat it. But you can add whatever pepper you like. Black pepper. Personally, I don't eat black pepper. But you can add some black pepper to it, you can add some cayenne pepper, and my personal favorite, some scotch bunny pepper, which I did add to it. See the now people, there you have it, sweet and sour cauliflower, and I had this with some Cuban rice and some cucumbers on the side. So thank you for stopping by, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and tell a friend, and tell one other friend too. Until next time. What good?